Hello and welcome to my video, lesson 2.4 on cosine law. So, actually I'm zoomed out a little bit too far, let me zoom in here. So, these are the two formulas given to you in your formula sheet, uh, or on your formula sheet, um, that have to do with the cosine law. And you'll notice that we're using cos, and you'll notice that my triangles here are not right angle triangles, they could be any set of angles. Um, so. The only thing that's really, really, really important is that you uh, need to keep track of which side is related to which angle. And so in the formula, we have only one angle that we care about, that's A, and therefore we have to know which side is related to A. So A and A must be related in your formula and your triangle. Okay, B and C, it doesn't matter so much which side is which, um, but A makes a very big difference. This is where most people will make their mistakes on these questions, is simply with um, uh, mixing up which side is which. So, with that said, um, here are, this one I forgot to actually label aside, here are two different questions to try out, and um, this is basically all that cosine law is. It's just plug and play, so you just use the formula and plug it in. Um, it's just that sometimes um, you read it incorrectly, um, or sometimes it'll even say something like, instead of writing an X here, um, it might label this side B, uh, just to really throw you off, but there's it's not actually B in the formula, so just be aware of that. Um, yeah, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. So go ahead, pause the video now, try it out for yourself, and we'll do it together in a moment. All right, hopefully you were able to try this out. Um, if not, make sure you pause the video, try it yourself, and then see what I get. So in this one, we're looking for an angle. So I'm gonna label that side A, and I'm gonna label this, I'm um, uh, sorry, angle A and side A. So we're going to go cos, um, angle A equals, and that's the one we're looking for, and then B, we can really choose anything we want. We could either choose 4 or the 5, so B squared plus C squared minus A squared, this is where it's important that you pick the right one to be A, over 2 times 4 times 5, or 2 times B times C from your formula, that's this one right here. Okay, now we're looking for the angle A though, not just uh, cos A. So what you do is you go cos negative one of that, and you go cos negative one of this. So I'm just gonna rewrite that out so it's nice and clear. These cancel here. So A equals cos negative one, four squared plus five squared minus seven squared over two times 4 times 5, and so now we need to just plug into our calculator. So for most of us, um, well, I'm going to show you guys how uh, even the TI-84s without the plus CE can do this. If you click alpha, uh, y equals, and then press that button there, you get a fraction. Oh, I shouldn't have done that yet. Second function, cos, and then that and you get a fraction, then you get four squared plus five squared minus seven squared over two times four times five, bracket, enter 101.5, and uh, I'm just gonna leave it there. Um, normally the question will say to the nearest 10th or to the nearest degree, but whatever, um, it didn't here. So hopefully you got the same answer as I did for that one. Um, likely there's two mistakes you could have labeled the wrong side or perhaps you forgot to actually take the cos negative one so make sure that you do that all right um, try out the second question pause it now try it out and press play when you're done all right for this question um, what we're going to do is make sure that we're labeling the uh, side that we're looking for is a and uh, the angle that we have as capital A. Now, what could happen here 
is you could be given a different angle um, or a different side or something, in which case you have to be very careful that you're doing it correctly. But um, in this case, these two side and angle are related. And so what we're looking for is A. So we're gonna rewrite, uh, we're gonna write the formula from above. That's this one over here. And we're gonna write it in here. So this is A squared equals B squared, uh, no, instead of writing B squared, I'm going to write 3 squared plus C squared, which is 6 squared, minus 2 times 3 times 6 times cos of A, where A is 34 degrees. Okay, we're pretty close, but we're not quite there yet. What we have to do next is square root both sides because there's a square here. It needs to be square rooted to cancel. So we get A equals the square root of 3 squared plus 6 squared minus 2 times 3 times 6 times cos 34 degrees. And that equals, where are we at? Oh, we need to get the uh, calculator out. Oops, not quite that far. Um, square root, 3 squared plus 6 squared minus 2 times 3 times 6 times cos 34. Always make sure you end your brackets, just get in that habit, and press enter, and we get 3.89. Yeah, I'm just going to write that a little bit more neatly there. Okay, and this would be um, meters because we're looking for a side length and the other units are in meters. All right. Yeah, so I hope that this video helped you better understand sine law and how to apply it for both an angle and for a side. And uh, I hope that you guys are careful with those different pitfalls that you um, make sure you're getting the related side and doing the opposite operator of a square to be a square root and the opposite operator of cos to be cos negative one. All right, hope this video helps you and good luck.